there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've actually stopped off in Dolgetty Bay. Uh, Dolgetty Bay is the name of the town and it is also the name of the bay. So it's, uh, it's get, again it's right on the 4th of 4th. Uh, from where I am you, you can see Edinburgh and you can see all three of the 4th bridges. So I will kind of come out, get to the car in a minute and let you see the view. And yeah, as I, I think parking is surrounded by a lot of kind of hip housing, like flats, a bit of a housing estate. Uh, so that has to be kind of kept in mind when you're coming to visit. Uh, so again, just respect to people who do live around about in, in the surrounding area. And before I get out, before I go off my wander, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on that subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So I'm going to grab my things, head on out and go for a wander. So that's the three fourth bridges. There's the railway bridge is the Victorian one, that's the red one that nearest is. The man in the middle is the fourth road bridge and the furthest one is the Queen Ferry crossing. And all the way over there is Edinburgh. And the hill you can see at the back, that would be Arthur's seat. So the bit over there where I've parked the car, that's the St David's Harbour. I think they'll get to be like proper as it's in, around the headland a wee bit. So it's a wee map to see where everything is. So Inverkeithen is there, Dolgetty Bay is in the middle and Aberdower is just up on the right. So I'm going to head along this way and continue my wee adventure. Yeah, maybe not as sandy as some other beaches, but still nice to come down onto. I've just come from that direction and I'm going to just head back down the, this path here. That should take me down to Dalgetty Bay proper. And there are a few of the bridges. Yeah, there was always a saying when I was a kid that involves the fourth rail bridge. If you wanted this to describe something as being a never ending task, you would describe it as being like painting the fourth rail bridge uh, because it would essentially take seven years to paint the bridge with its iconic red paint from one end to the other and by the time you got to the end of it you'd have to go back all the way to the start and start repainting it so it essentially was a never-ending task and it's not really a thing I've heard very much in recent years but it's one I've always liked And it has a very iconic view, that view. Yeah, so that is, uh, so the fourth rail bridge, which is the one that's just ahead of me, that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it was granted that status back in 2015. So just uh, some wee plaques of people who helped contribute to the woodland project here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's me just coming down to Dalgetty Bay, surrounded by this lovely bit of woodland. Yeah, so that larger island over there is Inch Home Island, Inch Home Island. That is our Columbus Island. That one's got the monastery on it. And it's got a wee lighthouse just out, be to the right hand side of it. Yeah, somebody's out on their yacht, a wee boat. Yeah, so I was right, the hill over there has uh, got the intersect of two peaks. That is Arthur's seat. And you can just back oh I can make out the castle, you might be able to make it out. We've got the Pentland Hills over there. Yeah, I think I was wrong. Right, this looks like it might actually be Dogetti Bay. I think it's just been a preempt be being a bit preemptive earlier on. I have I'm actually a bit jealous of the people who've got the houses around about here. The fact they've actually got this on their doorstep. And this is such a beautiful wee, uh, beautiful wee area to come and explore and just wander around. And to be able to kind of come down to the bay. Especially on a day like today when the sun's spotting the skies. It's really nice and warm. Okay, I think I'm getting the geography a wee bit mixed up. I think that bit in there, that's the Getty Bay. That should be all inside of that bit of land. So I think that's over there and there, there's a bit of, bit of that land there. So there's Donny Bristol Bay, which is the one I'm at just now. But still, it's a really gorgeous bit to come and have a wander and explore. Well, that's me back from a little wander around Dogetti Bay and I, it is definitely a really beautiful area and it's just so peaceful to be able, being able to get down onto the shoreline and just stand with the, the water kind of lapping at your feet and it is, it is a really good walk as well, it's like I definitely feel like I've given my legs a good workout and again with it being part of the Fife Coastal Path, definitely one that all of you long distance walkers could look into and yeah and uh, again it's one of those kind of areas that I had I'd heard about the Getty Bay before I had never been here before so I thought I was good passing through the area and I thought I'd stop off and explore and see what I could find so hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video 
hopefully you will all be intrigued by Dolgetty Bay and uh, the Fife Coastal Path. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.